Hi, my name is Claire Wood and I'm just going to give you some tips on how you can use these objects, uh, which are spiky balls or even your classic tennis ball, to relieve areas of tension in the muscles in your body, particularly if you're getting tight and stiff across your shoulders from working at home, um, or if you've had tightness around your lower back and around your pelvis area. So these spiky balls come in different sizes. Um, there were, it's worth you having a layer of clothing between your, your skin and the ball just because they are quite spiky. Tennis balls aren't quite so punishing, but um, worth having a thin layer of cotton between them. And if you're work, wanting to work on a muscle, um, warm up the area if you can with a, a bit of a hot water bottle or a heat pack um, just to soften the tissue. So the idea with these is not to be too masochistic with them. Um, it, it does feel quite nice if you're getting into an area that you would like to have um, a bit of pressure on and you feel it's going to give you some ease, but just go gently, work into the area, work carefully. Now, the best way to use them is against a wall, which makes it easy to do. So you can either use it against a flat wall or you can use it in a door jam. Um, the corner of the door where, you, where you've got that join, if you place that ball in there, there's less chance of it rushing around and, and moving out from your body. What you want to do is aim for the areas of the body that are fleshier. You don't want to be putting it over bony points because that would be uncomfortable. But for something like the shoulder blade area, where you've got your shoulder blade here, if you're feeling a bit tight or a bit stiff with your arm movements, you can get the, ten the spiky ball between your arm, your shoulder blade and the wall and just move yourself around. So you'll have to do a little bit of knee bending to get the right spot. Just lean against it and find the spot that you think well, that feels good. Breathe into it gently, just give it a bit of time and see if it eases. And then you can move on to another area and just again, see if you get any release in that position. You can add a bit of arm movement on, if that helps to give you a little bit of a feeling of a bit more stretch. And then what you can do after that is just reassess your movement and see if it feels a bit easier. And if so, then that's going to be helpful. The same thing can apply between the shoulder blades, okay? A lot of people get stiff and tight from sitting in this area. So either a single spiky ball or two balls taped together can sometimes work and it's quite nice to put it in the middle of the spine. So the area where you've got that dip goes over the bony point and the same thing applies. You go between the spine and the wall. So you're just going to come into the area where you feel a bit tight and a bit stiff and then do a little bit of a yogi bear up and down just finding the area that feels like it needs a bit of releasing. Okay, don't press too hard and it certainly shouldn't increase your pain. You must find that as you're doing it, either holding it in one position and just breathing in that position or by gently going up and down, that it gets easier as you do it. All right, you again, not pressing too hard, just work into that pressure. Don't go too hard on it to start with and see how you feel afterwards. So with that one, that's great for the spine, particularly if you're finding you're getting quite stiff and tight in this position. Coming back to the spiky balls and the single spiky balls, the same thing applies between the shoulder blades. You've got the bony part of the shoulder blade here and you've got the spine here. And there's lots of muscles that can get tight and just overworked in that area. So again, putting that ball just on the inside of the shoulder blade where it's not bony, coming into the wall, and then, again, just finding the level that works for you. So you can bring that ball into that area, bring your arm across a little bit if that helps, come down, just going down the wall so you're getting those muscles as they come across. And the same thing applies when you've got that pressure on, breathe into it, relax into it, give yourself time, don't rush it, and you can do movements of your neck to help stretch that area as well. Quite a nice wake up call for your feet, if you're particularly for somebody who likes having your feet handled, is to use the spiky ball just gently rolling backwards and forwards. If you're somebody who gets tired feet and everything's feeling a little bit achy at the end of the day, then just running into the ball back and forth between the, the base of the toes and the heel can be a really nice way to wake up the senses and just feel a bit more alive. So just another area that you can release with the ball is the muscles around the bottom area, which often contribute to low back pain. So getting the, the spiky ball, leaning up against the wall, again in the fleshy bit of the bottom, find the spot that feels like it needs working on, gently lean into it or gently move it around. And you can work in that area, there's a fan of muscle that comes out from the bony point into that area around your pelvis and work through that area. So get the level, 
Move around, just find the spot and take your time just working into that area.